Hey beautifuls, it's the queen of the internet, the true C-U-N-T. So today I am making just a random video, wondering what I should make. You guys left some suggestions, so I guess today I can talk about like my coming out story. And this is for all my little cotton candy cunt fans, because this channel is more for like videos that are naughty and inappropriate because that's why you guys love me is because you are inappropriate bitches just like me so let's get started so basically my coming out story happened in a way I didn't want it to happen I wasn't ready for it to happen but it looked like my mother was ready for it to happen, so she kind of just made it happen. If you know what I'm saying, girl. So, I was at the mall shopping with my sister, and, I don't know, we were just buying some new stuff because that's what, you know, girls do when you're a teenager. You go to the mall, you know, and buy a new dildo, buy a new thong, buy a new vibrator, buy a new pipe, everything you need. Spencer's, girl, they got it. They got you covered. So, yeah, I was doing that, and then my sister got a call on her cell phone, and it was my mom, and I guess my mom was, like, freaking out and, like, really hysterical. I guess she found, she heard a really loud buzzing noise, and she thought it came from outside. She was all the way outside when she heard this, and the buzzing noise was all the way upstairs in my bedroom, and so she decided to go investigate, which was rather you know, nosy, she shouldn't have been so damn nosy, and then she would have been fine, but she decided to go investigate where this vibrating's coming from, and she found it underneath my dresser, and she pulls it out, and I guess she screams, like, hysterically, she's like, oh my fucking god, am I just touching, am I touching a vibrator, that was at my son's butt, and I'm like, oh snap, girl, that ain't good, so that happened and then when she was digging in there she also found my water bong you know because I used to smoke weed when I was really young but I don't know I don't do it anymore because it seems rather boring and all it does is make you fat and hungry and sleepy and I don't know I like to be awake and sober now I like to be able to go 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 but anyways that's a different topic so she found my vibrator and my bong together. So she's thinking, oh my god, my son gets high and then he fucks himself. What to do? What to do? So knowing my mom, as you guys have seen her in all my older videos, what does she do? She goes to the bar, gets fucking slushed. She starts chugging beer after beer after beer after beer and then tells everyone at the bar, my son's gay. He shoves vibrating objects up his boy pussy. And he smokes weed, and then he gets his boy pussy wet and shoves more things up there. And then he gets really stoned, and then he sticks his fist up there. I don't know, she's just going crazy. So me and my mom didn't talk for quite a while after that because I was embarrassed. I was really young. I think I was like 12 or 13 or 11. I think I was 12. 12 sounds about right. So, you know, when you're young just getting in, you know, just getting your hormones and everything, you don't know what to fucking think. So then I took it out on myself because I was like really depressed, so I cut my, or uh, cut my arms up here, I think I cut my wrist, yeah I cut my wrist too, but it wasn't intentionally to harm myself, it was more just to, I would cut so I could bleed, and the bleed would be like so the pain could come out of me. It wasn't to kill myself because I would never want to die. I'm not stupid like that. Not that anyone's stupid, that's something wrong. Um, but some people just don't want to live. And I do want to live even though living on this world is freaking torturous and miserable. So I have like scars and you can't really see it on this camera because it's not that good. But you can see most. Like there's some, this one was super thick and deep and got all bubbly and gross. Now I regret it because now I have ugly scars. And it just looks hideous, it's not attractive. So I plan on getting that, um, get a nice sleeve tattoo to cover that up. 
because I don't want to remember being depressed and cutting myself when I was a child. Um, it might be my fuck buddy. Christine Rice has subscribed to your channel. Never mind. Um, so yeah, that's basically how that went. And then in like a week or so, me and my mom started talking and she was like, are you bi? Are you gay? Are you straight? Is it, this is just a phase. And I'm like, no mom, I love the dick. I really love the dick. It's hot. I like the shape of it. I like the taste of it. And I like the way it makes me feel when it's pounding inside my tight little hole. And then she fainted and I sat on her face the end. So, yeah, I just thought I'd have a different video for you guys for once. Um, so you guys leave a comment below letting me know your coming out story if you have one. Some of you might be straight, a lot of you might be straight, I don't know. Also, question of the day, if your mom walked in your room and found a vibrator vibrating because you forgot to shut it all the way off after you just kind of fucked yourself, then what would your thoughts be? What would you do? What would you say? Alright, so, I love you guys. Also, check out an, the other new video. It's uploading now on my other channel, being The Leopard Goddess. Because that's me, girl. I'm the Leopard Goddess, and I'm a fucking cunt, so. Oh, also, I'm wearing my, I do makeup. Necklaces, and it's all bling, with a bling bow and a bling lipstick. Which kind of matches my newest lipstick which is Lime Crime. It's super gorgeous. Oh yeah. I always need to have that touch up girl. Kind of like Nicki Minaj lips but better. And it's called Count Conista Fluorescent. Which, this isn't the color I thought it would be. I don't know. I have blue and I have purple but my purple is like all the way gone so I need to buy another purple. Alright guys, I love you. Please thumbs up this video if you thought it was entertaining and funny in a weird way. And leave a comment, let me know your experiences. And don't forget the day, or the question of the day. What would you do? Because I don't know what I would do. Well, I already went through it, so I went fucking nuts. And I was like, or, you know, stupid. <sighs> Alright, bye guys.